It's Monday, and that means I can go pick up my new chair today. Waiting for the mailman. Basically, you just have to get some paperwork in the mail, then I'm set to go down there and pick it up. Mailman just got here, but there's about 800 residents here, and he said it takes him typically 45 minutes uh, to get all the mail delivered and distributed into all the boxes. And mine happens to be one of the last sections that he sorts out and delivers. Gotta sit around and wait for a little while longer. I'm not a patient person. I went over to this weird little cafe that's here on site. They're open like really strange hours. It's almost like they don't want customers. But anyways, got uh, some sort of panini or something. Looks like it's on rye bread. Appears to be some sort of chicken pesto arrangement or something like that. We'll see how that works. I hate waiting around. All right, I'm loading up and heading over to get the new chair. I have arrived. batteries are any good in that. I'm poised to buy new ones with that thing just because it's old. This? Yeah. And demos never get cycled and taken care of for batteries. Yeah. Guess who's got a new off-road chair? Ta-da! It's official. I've picked up the new chair. Fortunately, it needs batteries. I still might be able to screw around with it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's sitting here in the back. So I'm gonna head back out to the west side and put this thing through its paces. The real question is, can I do donuts in the elevator? Sorry for the cell phone video, but I'm going outside in the rain with the umbrella. I can't wait. I've got to run around in this thing. I'm probably going to get soaked. Perfect test for the weather. It just started... It just started hailing. I'm pretty sure that guy needs a head gasket. Here we go. Can I get up on this sidewalk? Uh, no problem at all. I went outside and ran around a little bit, but the weather is terrible. The chair doesn't have fenders on it. I'm gonna have to make some for it. But with those big tires that it has on it right now, it kicks up water and completely soaks you. Uh, also, the batteries need to be replaced. I'm gonna be picking up some new ones, uh, hopefully tomorrow, and then I'll be able to run around a lot more with it. But for right now, I'm stuck sitting looking at it over there which is fine, at least I have it now. <laughs> it only took minimal modifications and drilling uh, to get the thing set up. Foot plates on it needed to be adjusted. I'll show you. The foot plates on this are in a fixed position and when I got it, they were, this bar right here was actually out to about here. So the foot plates were sticking out a good four or five inches further than they need to. You have to be careful so they don't interfere with the foot plate. There's just enough clearance there, but I'm going to have to get some foot straps to hold my feet on here because there's nothing to keep my heels from falling off. There are mounting points on here that are threaded, so I'll be able to use those to get it set up. These holes here for these bolts that hold the foot plate on, for some reason they were drilled out to a bigger size and the bolts wouldn't fit through on the frame, so I had to do a little bit of drilling to get these to fit, but ultimately to get it set up so it fits me properly and I can sit in it and my feet aren't sticking way out in the air. It was maybe half hour of work, so not bad. Sorry, super short video today. I wanted to do a full review and comprehensive testing of this new chair, but until the rain lets up and until I get the batteries in it tomorrow, that's just not gonna happen. So stay tuned. Cause I gotta go on a rampage, run all over the place, drive through people's flowers and yards and all kinds of stuff. Yeah.